You've heard of knockoff bags, counterfeit couture, fake Rolexes. But here's a crime you may not have considered. Alleged dirty dealings when it comes to laundry detergent. Criminals pushing phony goods and cleaning up at your expense. ABC's Nick Watt with the latest on the investigation. So we need to be quick and thorough and hit them hard. Compton, California, early morning, armed officers swoop. The trips are rolling in. Somebody grab this guy. They're not after drugs. Okay, they're going in. Weapons, moonshine. Oh, no. Today, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department is on the scent of dodgy detergent. And hidden amongst a reportedly stolen speedboat, some medical hardware and coffee pots, buckets and buckets of apparently counterfeit Tide. In the office, fake labels for fake game. So you think this might be the distribution center oh, you were is. hoping? It yeah. Is. Tied in five gallon buckets. Why do we think it's fake? See, there is no such thing here. That's, that's what's crazy. There right. is no such product. There is no such thing. They do not make this. We don't sell Tide in five gallon buckets. The alleged contraband is sent to the lab to find out what it is if it ain't tied. Without sounding too scary, the risks are quite large because we just don't know. You don't know where it came from. It would be like putting your family in a car that you had no idea who made it or where it came from. We'll follow that trail in a minute. Counterfeiting, they say, is a nearly $500 billion a year business. Hundreds and hundreds of labels. In the past year alone, Procter & Gamble has helped identify and close 50 factories, cranking out counterfeit goods. Be cognizant of that and be safe. Today, the boys in blue now have a nearby address. One step closer, they hope, to the Mr. Big, to another factory. When we find the source of this, we're going to find some kind of organized criminal organization. I'm riding with veteran lieutenant Jeffrey Diedrich. My body's trashed. I've had nine knee surgeries, two shoulder, or one shoulder surgery, broken this hand three times. From stuff on the job. Yeah. He now heads the LA County Sheriff's counterfeit and piracy team. Laundry detergent. Can smell laundry detergent. I just don't get it. Cigarettes, alcohol, what a detergent. If me and you are driving around with a kilo of cocaine, we're kind of nervous thinking we're going to get busted. These guys are driving around van loads of this stuff every day like nothing. If you made just as much money selling counterfeit Tide as heroin, what would you choose? The Tide. You're not going to yeah. do 40 years in prison. The math investigators say goes something like this. Dealers buy the stuff for maybe five bucks a bucket, and we found it for sale online for at least five times that. 25 bucks for that one. Here's another one. $35 for that. Within 20 miles of where I am right now, I'm being offered fake Tide by one, two, three, four, four different sellers. We started seeing this really escalate starting about a year ago. It's showing up all over the place, and the social media is the enabler. In places like Texas, Illinois, Manhattan, where we found this ad offering samples and a free laundry bag with the purchase of six gallons. If the product comes in a five gallon bucket, that's a, a, a huge tip off that the product is illegal counterfeit because we don't sell product in five gallon buckets to the public. Procter & Gamble also does not sell downy or gain in five gallon buckets. So this, this, and this, they say, must be fake. Detergent seized in California has now been analyzed here at Procter & Gamble's lab in Cincinnati. It actually looks and smells kind of like a detergent. But? we found that it had very high water content. Okay, fake, but effective? This is a chocolate pudding stain on a t-shirt or on a child's onesie. This is the actual same stain that gets washed in water. This was washed in the counterfeit detergent, and this was washed in the Tide liquid. When you actually use the counterfeit detergent, you can see that it's not that much different than just using water by itself. We're here to discuss the impact of counterfeits on consumer health and safety. A Procter & Gamble executive recently testified before Congress. p and takes counterfeiting very seriously. Counterfeiting is consumer fraud, plain and simple. The company is fighting back, hunting down leads and handing their findings 
to law enforcement. We realized this was something that it was uh, that we couldn't handle ourselves, um, but we were really concerned about what the what kind of fraud was happening here with our consumers. We get tips from the community. Uh -huh. We get tips from private investigation firms. We get tips from citizens. In this situation, um, the tip came from Procter and Gamble. What you're watching now is hidden camera footage shot by a Procter and Gamble hired investigator on a recon mission at that warehouse in Compton. That's the man Diedrich and his men just arrested, sticking fake downy labels on buckets filled with apparently fake downy fabric softener. Investigators believe crooks are selling mostly online. With the explosion of social media and the internet, it's really taken off and it's become a real problem. And some people are selling it without knowing it's not the real deal. Fundraiser for Spain trip for my daughter. My son's baseball team is selling five gallon buckets of laundry detergent. Fundraiser for my daycare, tied five gallon buckets. The actual brand, no generic homemade stuff. So they're claiming that this is the real deal. It's not. And there's one here for a student ministry. I mean, so these are, you know, highly lucrative fundraisers for these people. And then when we have to tell them that they are selling fake product, um, it becomes like a really just emotional situation for everybody involved. Location 3, U97. Okay, back on the front line on the streets of LA. Yeah, this is a unique caper here. Remember, Diedrich and his men are chasing down a lead, an address they picked up during the warehouse raid earlier. It's all cash, so you always have the propensity for some kind of armed robbery or some kind of robbery to steal the money, and the person selling the product is going to have to defend it. Here we are. So there were half a dozen or more simultaneous raids this morning, and at this house, they found a lot of money. A suburban home, but out back, yep, apparently counterfeit detergent and maybe $10,000 in cash, plus a firearm. The Sheriff's Department thinks it's loot and laundry. A unique caper, indeed. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles.